Hello and welcome again to another Curator's Chat here at Barringer Crawford Museum. I'm Jason French, Curator of Collections. Today I thought I would bring just one simple artifact, something that, that came into the museum a week or so ago and it's been intriguing and a little bit of a mystery to me. Uh, this was brought in by a retired fire chief from Covington and this is an alligator wrench. He found it many years ago uh, on the scene of a fire. And, you know, you see alligator wrenches around and there's all kinds of uh, ideas of what they were used for, whether they were used for pipe fitters and working on locomotives, what they were used um, for. There's lots of different ideas of how and what an alligator wrench is, was used for. And it was probably used by many people for different things. But the reason that this one, I think the reason he kept it and why he brought it to us and what's kind of special to me about it, and it's not totally uncommon, is this one was actually made by John A. Roebling and Sons. Uh, and they're who made the suspension bridge that spans between Covington and Cincinnati. So it's a Roebling Bridge. We call it the Roebling Bridge. This is a Roebling Wrench. Which makes me wonder, was, were these wrenches just for pipe fitters, just working on iron pipes, or were they occasionally? Because Roebling was known for his wire cable. And the wire cable was used, of course, in the suspension bridge and there was even a building here in Covington in the old Oddfellows Hall that had a floor suspended by Roebling Cable. So were these wrenches also potentially used for tightening uh, wire cable? I don't know. It's a bit of a mystery, and there are many mysteries uh, surrounding uh, alligator wrenches and lots of opinions. But I thought I would share it with you. It's a fun wrench. Um, of course, the shape of it's kind of unique. It's alligator wrench because of the it's kind of alligator mouth shape. It's only serrated on one side. It's smooth on the other. And this one, the serrations are actually kind of canted at a little bit of an angle. So it is a fascinating wrench. I'm glad that it came walking into our museum. It's something that I think we will treasure here. It will help us tell a broader story of the Roebling uh, family and its contributions in our community as well as the country and just wanted to share that with you. I hope you have a good day. We'll see you next week. Bye.